What up y'all, it's Friday, let's talk PlayStation. So this news week hasn't really been all that great. Starhawk developer Lightbox Interactive has been hit with layoffs, 24 people are being let go, and the company is actually shifting to iOS development. If you didn't know, Lightbox Interactive is responsible for the game Starhawk, and a couple of people back from Incognito were also responsible for Warhawk. This doesn't really surprise me, even though Starhawk was a great game, it just didn't sell well. And like President Dylan Job of Lightbox Interactive uh, said, these are the tricks and the trades of the business, if something doesn't work, something's gotta be done about it. Layoffs are, uh, you know, part of the business, and uh, just has to be done. My best condolences to those 24 people that lost their job at Lightbox Interactive. Hope you guys get back on your feet soon. Thank you for making great PlayStation games. And kind of moving on to the same topic, Nihilistic Software, who's responsible for uh, PlayStation Move Heroes and the upcoming Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified for the PlayStation Vita, uh, they're also reorganizing their company as well, and they're also moving on to mobile games. On their official site, they said that no layoffs are hitting the company, which is good, because apparently the company's already kind of a small team, but they're uh, basically moving to mobile games and uh, online games, probably iOS, Android, maybe Facebook games, Chrome games, but more or less they're moving on to stuff like that. Again, this isn't really surprising considering that company also isn't seeing a lot of money. Even though they didn't put out less than stellar games, you know, they're still not seeing money either and they're basically moving away from retail. I mean, this is pretty alarming, people. These are two uh, Sony developers that are now moving on to iOS and Android and all these, uh, you know, smaller platforms of development. And it's really sort of alarming for the industry and it really starts to show just exactly where games are going nowadays. The industry is changing, people, and if you want more experiences on PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita or even your Xbox 360, Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Wii U, your 3DS, you gotta spend with your wallet. But in some somewhat more uplifting news, Sony released a new teaser trailer on their PlayStation YouTube channel called The Reload. So it's playing right here, and uh, it's basically uh, the same woman that we saw from the Michael Viral ads a while ago. You remember those ads? It was with all the PlayStation characters and all these other, uh, you know, regular game characters in one room, talking about Michael, Michael, and about how, you know, gamers and stuff are what the heart of PlayStation and stuff. It was a really cool commercial, although it didn't announce anything. It was still cool nonetheless. Now you see the same woman in this trailer, only 16 seconds long, and uh, basically she's about to reload a gun, then uh, some lightning shows up, and it's, you know, kind of very, very ambiguous, and then it releases the, uh, you know, shows the date for the 23rd. What is the 23rd? We don't know what that means just yet. Obviously, the 23rd is actually when North America is getting the PlayStation Store redesigned. It could be that. The lightning, some people suggest that that might be Infamous 3. It could be anything. And what do I think it is? I think this is just more, you know, more ads. The same thing with the Michael Viral ad. They released a small, you know, a couple of seconds about the Michael Viral ad, then they just showed the Michael Viral ad, and it didn't really announce anything. It would be cool if it was Infamous. 3? It certainly could be, hinting with the electricity, I don't know. One wild theory I do have stirring around in my brain is that this perhaps does announce Infamous 3, and then the uh, Michael Viral ads were sort of a precursor to how they're going to announce all their games from now on, so whenever you see an ad uh, having to deal with the Michael Viral ad and that lady behind the desk or something, it would always prelude to a new game announcement. But then again, that's a totally crazy theory, and I was just, you know, pretty much daydreaming at that point. If anything, let's just hope Sony gets better at their marketing and their ad campaign and stuff like that because games like Starhawk failed because they didn't get marketed well, and we want to avoid that. So if you guys remember last week, I was going to give away a 30-day uh, PlayStation Plus voucher code, and uh, I will be announcing that winner in just a second here. It's also interesting to note some of the uh, top games that you guys chose and what your favorite franchises were. Uh, the number one spot was actually tied between three games, Metal Gear, God of War, and Final Fantasy. Number two coming in was Uncharted series, uh, Uncharted 1, 2, or 3, whichever. Whichever one you chose, I just put it into the Uncharted column. Uh, number three was Killzone. Number four was tied with Ratchet and Clank, Resident Evil, Assassin's Creed, and Call of Duty. And then number five was Crash Bandicoot, Battlefield, and Little Big Planet. Now granted, obviously I'm not a big channel and there are only 60 comments, but uh, a lot of good games you guys like. I'm glad we all kind of settled in on the same stuff there. But congratulations to The Intentional Gamer with a three in the gamer. You are the winner. Uh, I randomly put in all your names into a generator on my phone, or just a you know, random iPhone app, click generate. Uh, that guy was the winner. So congratulations to you. I'm going to PM that to you uh, Friday night. Thank you guys for watching. When we hit even bigger milestones, I got bigger and better stuff to give away. And who doesn't like free shit? But that concludes this week's episode of Let's Talk PlayStation. I'm Ryan Bedecki, and I'll see you next Friday. Send me friend requests. We can play PS All-Stars Beta on Vita. Yay!